Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He wore a colorful robe and dreamed of greatness, but jealousy grew in the hearts of his brothers. Out of envy, they threw him into a pit and sold him into slavery in Egypt. Years later, famine spread across the land. Joseph's brothers came to Egypt seeking food. They bowed before him, not recognizing the brother they had betrayed. If Canva is your favorite tool and you're thinking, I want to create this Bible stories using Canva, then this video is for you. Let's jump right in and I can show you how you do this. Very easy. Step number one is go to ChatGPT and create your story with prompts. By creating prompts with your ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is going to write the scenes for you for the small little video that you would like to create. And then once it's done creating the prompts for the images, ChatGPT is going to help you write the script. So in our instance, we're going to be using Canva and ChatGPT. Or once you have all of the prompts that you want to create for your little Bible story, you're going to go to your Canva account and then you're going to start creating these images. The best thing to do is to create very similar images by using similar prompts. When you're asking ChatGPT, try to keep it consistent so that when you're creating the images, uh, they become consistent as well. So once we have our scenes, we're going to go and copy the first prompt and head over to our Canva AI and select Canva AI and select the create an image. And then make sure you choose the correct aspect for your design. If you're creating for TikTok, choose a 9 by 16. If it's YouTube, then leave it at 16 by 9. You can pick a style of a character that you would like to create. It's based on whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it for the AI to create for me. And then I'm pasting my first prompt of the seven prompts that I'm going to be creating. So it is based on the animated movie style and I will press enter to start creating. And then I wait, the tool creates these beautiful images for me, for the young little boy. And look at the robe, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I jump back to my chat GPT and I carry on copying and pasting my prompts so that I can create a very similar nice thing is Canva keeps the similarness of your images then I create for all of the seven scenes that I have so that looks very similar to that I like that I even like this it will work quite nicely and you'll just do that for all of your scenes your images you're going to download the ones that you're going to be using for your little movie and you're going to upload them on your timeline and i'm going to go to templates and then i'm going to create a video because i'm creating this for youtube i'm going to use the video landscape the 1920 by 1080 if you're creating for tiktok select the 9 by 16 the vertical format so we're going to create and write the names and we are going to upload all of the images and start adding it to our timeline based on how we want them to be inserted. So you're going to check on your TGPT to see how the sequence is going to look like. And then you head over to your images and start adding it or adding them to your timeline. And you add a scene. And you add the images based on how they're going to look like. Once I've added all of my images, I'm going to scroll down to our AI tools and I'm going to select audio. And then I want to generate AI voice. And I'm going to go copy my narration and add it on there and then I can create my narration. And then I can listen to the different voices and see 
Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He wore a colorful robe and dreamed of greatness. Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He wore a colorful robe and dreamed of greatness. And I'm going to generate AI voice. And then it gets added to my timeline. And then I can start listening and tweaking. Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He wore a colorful robe and dreamed of greatness. But jealousy grew in the hearts of his brothers. So now it is me that's going to start animating the pen in and the zoom so that the story gets told quite nicely and add sound effects to make the story beautiful. But the hard part is actually done with me creating the images, adding them on my timeline and then creating my narration. It's as easy as that. The nice thing that ChatGPT told me is to how I should actually create it and then how the visuals should be coming in and out so with scene one it tells me that i need to have a text overlay that says the boy with dreams and the narration starts talking up until that point and this light mysterious hub kind of music that i can add so i'm going to be just directed with the text overlay as well as how the slides should be looking like based on the guidance I got from ChatGPT. So I am going to add that on there, change my font to a gorgeous font and then start adding and making it awesome. For me to create different sounds on my videos, I use freesound.org and I search for different clicks and sounds and music so you can go ahead and go to freesound.org to make your video much better so i would carry on like this editing the video making it my own adding sounds adding different songs so that at the end it looks like this let me show you the last bit at how it turned out to be like but you can watch the different videos that i'm going to create for this bible channel on this Bible Stories Reimagined channel that I'm busy creating. Thank you so much for joining me. Watch how it turned out. I will see you with our next video. Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He wore a colorful robe and dreamed of greatness, but jealousy grew in the hearts of his brothers. Out of envy, they threw him into a pit and sold him into slavery in Egypt. Joseph's life was full of trials. He was falsely accused and thrown into prison. Yet even in chains, Joseph never lost his faith. His wisdom and gift of interpreting dreams caught Pharaoh's attention. From prisoner, he rose to ruler, second only to Pharaoh himself. Years later, famine spread across the land. Joseph's brothers came to Egypt seeking food. They bowed before him, not recognizing the brother they had betrayed. Joseph had the power to destroy them. But instead, he forgave them. He embraced them, saying, what you meant for evil, God used for good.